And he has not been... Oh, caution is out. That's Charles Leclerc. He was running 11th... Hey guys, this is Mike Jones. The drivers just started their engines and we are at Five Flags Speedway for the Five Flags 100. Mike Jones is your pole sitter. I'm Jones Mike, by the way, not Mike Jones, but uh, yeah, I'm because Mike Jones is in the car. Uh, Martin Cliff, the points leader, qualified second. Then we got right in the 53 third. Patty fourth. Fifth goes to the 75 of uh, Oakley. Then we got Orth in the 90. NASCAR fan in the 24. Kirby. Uh, Beck and Crispy Cookie rounds out your top 10. Green flag is out. Mike Jones has a bad start. Here comes Cliff to the lead. Cliff clears him. Oh my goodness. Mike Jones struggling to get grip at the beginning. And he's going to try the outside on Cliff, and he's going to push it hard. Coming out of the corner, who's going to lead lap one? It's going to be close. I don't even know. I don't even know who led that lap. Who led that lap? Cliff led the first lap. Cliff is going to continue to lead right now as Mike Jones still trying to pass him on the outside. He just hasn't quite been able to get by. That battle is Staying strong, Clift has still been the leader. He is the only car to lead a lap in this series right now at the moment. And he hasn't even never gotten a pole position. That's kind of crazy. Oh, here comes Mike Jones on the outside. He's got a little bit of a run. Oh, he's loose coming out of the corner. But he leads a lap. That ends Clift's record of leading all the laps so far this season. Now that Mike Jones has led a lap today. Still hasn't completely cleared Cliff for the lead, though, as they are still side by side, and that has allowed the 53 of Wright to catch up. And Mike Jones might have cleared him. Yes, Mike Jones has now cleared Cliff for the lead. Cliff still not giving up, though. He's going to try to dive bomb him soon. Mike Jones leaves it open. And here comes Cliff. They're side by side again. Jones gets really loose coming out of the corner here comes cliff back for the lead mike jones was able to lead about three laps and now he might be falling off the pace this battle for the lead is definitely crazy right now cliff is still your leader mike jones right behind him on his back bumper now he might be able to try the inside line this time oh my goodness now that they have calmed down do we have any other battles going on leclerc trying to get by rodriguez on the outside Oh my goodness. Here comes Huika for a pass to Leclerc. That ain't going to happen either as we go through the entire pack. Wow, they are all side by side. Three wide at some point. Oh my goodness. They were able to keep it going though. Cliff is still your leader though. And Mike Jones still looking to make the pass. Oh my goodness. This is a crazy race so far. Great battle for the lead though. That's for sure. Will he be able to get him? That's the question. I don't think so, at least not now. So we keep going down. Oh, here comes Kirby trying to get by the 21 of Connor Jacko. And Quinn Half is going to follow him. Quinn Half is really bad at qualifying, I think, but he's been able to make his way through the pack. If he could qualify a little better, he might be able to actually put a little bit of pressure on the leaders. He started 21st at Wisconsin and finished 8th place. He had to pass all those cards, and that's with a lot of cautions, too. Slowing them up and stacking them up and messing them up and all that good stuff. Campy. Jacko's still getting passed. I don't know if something happened to his car. He's falling back more and more as time goes by. And then we got a battle for last place back here. Austin Higgins falling back. I don't know what's going on with him. We got Carlson and Fusari, I guess is how you pronounce that. Cliff is still your leader. Mike Jones just holding on right behind him. Still not able to make a move yet. Wow. But I think once lap traffic happens, it's going to be close between these two leaders. Everybody else is almost single file now. The 75 of Oakley... 
starts passing cars today. It's the exact opposite of uh, Wisconsin. He qualified up first and then uh, fell back to 10th. This time he qualified back, but side by side for the lead. Austin Higgins in the middle, three wide, going a lap down to both leaders. Oh my goodness, Mike Jones got a little tight coming into that corner, but it's all right. Mike Jones not able to make the pass yet. Whoa, Cliff tried to come to the inside, but Mike Jones dive bombed it. Cliff stuck behind the 18, and Mike Jones is now your new leader, and he has cleared the pack of lap cars. Oh my goodness. Mike Jones is now your leader. Cliff is still stuck behind these lap cars. Is that going to help right catch up in that 53? He finally makes it past that 18 car, but now he's got to get by the 26. Oh my goodness. And he has not been... Oh, caution is out. That's Charles Leclerc. He was running 11th place, and now he's in 15th and going back. He got to get towed to the back. I don't know what happened to his car, but uh, your leader is still Mike Jones. Second place is Clift. Third is Wright. Fourth is Oakley. And fifth is Josh Patty coming off of a, a... Did he DNF last race? Yeah, he came off of a DNF. Hopefully he gets a top five. That'll be really good for him. Let's go to the green flag. Before we go to the green flag, we're going to check out and see what happened to Charles Leclerc. I think right there you've seen something break on his car. Not sure what it was. Hopefully they can get it fixed, but uh, his car just stopped. And uh, he was running 11th place today. Caution waves right there. Let's go to the green flag. All right, guys, we're going green this time. By your leader is Mike Jones in the 24. Can he hold it off? Everybody is still in the race at this moment. Green flag is out. Mike Jones has another bad start. Two lap cars. And Cliff had a bad start. Two, three wide for second place. Josh Patty just went from fifth to second. Hopefully, if he can make this pass, what a maniac. Oh, my goodness. Cliff stuck on that outside line. Mike Jones starting to make progress on these lap cars. Josh Patty is now in second, three wide for third. Beck is now in third place. NASCAR fans trying to move past. All these lap cars have stacked up the entire field. Holy cow. Still three wide. And Clift is still stuck on that outside line right now. And he is falling back. I don't know if something bad happened. Here comes Wright on the outside trying to get by Josh Patty. Stuck behind a lap car at the moment. Wright's going to have a run coming out of the corner. He might be able to make that pass. Those lap cars might be slowing down that inside line just enough, but at the moment, they're not. Still battle for second going on. Patty is still in second place while Mike Jones has a huge lead. He made it through the lap traffic, and he is gone. Your fastest car of the race is also Mike Jones running a 17.9 right now. Well, Cliff ran an 18-0, and the 90 car ran an 18-0. Where's the 90 car at? Where are you, 90 car? There you are. That is Aiden Orth, and he has fallen back to 15th, but we know he's fast. Patty's still in second. Third is Beck. Fourth is right. He fell back to fourth. Austin Higgins is a lap car holding up the pack still. And here's Quinn Hoff. I told you earlier that he was going to make his way up here. He qualified... Pretty bad. I don't know where he qualified, but now he is up to sixth place at the moment. And you got Brian Rodriguez in front of him. Can Quinn Half get a top five? Kirby has made his way to seventh. And your points leader, Clift, has fallen out of the top ten. He's actually in ninth place right now, battling for ninth, I believe. Yes. And he's barely in ninth place, almost fell out of the top ten. That was close for him. Oakley has fallen back to 11th. Cookie's fallen out of the top 10. Oh my goodness. Orth, another one of your fast cars stuck on that outside. And dang, with all this going on, Mike Jones has just completely obliterated the competition right now. Look how big of a lead he has. Five and a half second lead over Beck, who is now in second. He was able to pass by Josh Patty, and now right passes Patty on the outside. 
Beck is going to try to continue to outlap the three lap cars in front of them. And they have not been able to get by these lap cars. And that's allowing Mike Jones to just take off. We have less than 20 laps to go. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Quinn Howe for fourth now. He is still making his way up here. Holy cow. Oh. Patty is back in second. He just made it by Beck. Quinn Half going for third. What is going on here today? Everybody's falling back except for Quinn Half. He's just going for the front. Imagine if he could get a second place finish. That'd be great for him. Then we go back three wide back here. And it looks like the 15 of Clift is on his way up again. He's stuck behind Kirby right now who's in the top five. Clift is already battling for fifth. He's already battling for fifth. He's going to give a big push to Kirby in the 97. And Clift is now going to possibly be in the top five. Now that he's finally got down to that inside line, he was getting freight trained on the third row outside. Whew, man, that was pushing him back. Now he's stuck behind the 97 car. Trying to get by Quinn Half and the 53. Oh, he's going to force it three wide. He's going to shove Half on the outside the same way Clift was earlier. And that is going to allow Clift to take third place. Patty, meanwhile, has been able to take off in second. And here comes Rodriguez battling for, I don't even know what position, fifth, I think. And Rodriguez is going to make the move. Lots of passing going on here for positions. And here comes Wright for fifth. And Kirby's starting to fall back fast. And Quinn Half made it all the way up to like second, fell back to eighth. Same for the 33 car. Holy cow. Where is your leader, Mike Jones? He is barely caught up to lap traffic now. He's stuck behind him right now, trying to outlap the Ozcan in the 29 and in the 75 of Olaf and Langford in front of them. Patty's still stuck behind two lap cars. And uh, that's going to make it a struggle for him to get to that lead. He's going to need a caution. Third is Clift. He's trying to hunt down the 88. Then we got right in fourth. Fifth is Richard. He came out of nowhere. Sixth is Quinn Half. Beck made his way to seventh again. In the 33. Then we got Rodriguez. Eighth. Ninth goes to Harnett. Tenth is going to go to Huika. Trying to get by the 97. The 18 car is a lap down. And Janela Huika is now in the top 10. With Crispy Cookie right behind her. They are running fast today. That's what I'm telling you. And here comes Crispy Cookie for the 10th. That did not last too long, did it? Who do you guys think is going to be the best driver to beat this season? Right now, I'm not going to lie. I think it's Clift. He has just took over second place, and he won the first race of the season. We got less than 10 laps to go, by the way. Eight laps to go at the line, I believe. And, uh, yeah. Why? I'm confused. Did Ozcan take another pit stop? No. Oh, never mind. This was the other lap car. Carlson. Leclerc is still fast, even though he had an issue earlier, because he took, uh, took off from the leaders. And uh, Mike Jones has been able to outlap a few cars. And he is now going to try to outlap 22nd of Oliver Zabrowski. He went high. Whoa. As we go back... Not sure any battles going on here. Six laps to go now. Any battles going on? We got a battle for like, who knows what place this is. This is 13th, I think. Yeah, 13th. Orth makes it. Three wide for 14th, though. And it looks like Andreas is going to keep 14th. And 15th is going to be Campe. Campe, whatever. <laughs> I can't. Is it Campy or Compy? I still don't know. Oh my goodness. And uh, Sterling. Three wide 
behind them. Coda Butcher and the uh, 21 car. They're about to go a lap down. Mike Jones caught them sleeping on that outside, and he's going to follow them to the inside. That is going to hurt the 21 of Jacko and the 75 of Oakley, who's falling all the way back to 20th. Oh, my goodness. Mike Jones has now put Coda Butcher a lap down. Oh, my goodness. Andreas trying to get by the lap car of the 18. Any battles going on anywhere else? No. It looks like this is probably how it's going to finish. Mike Jones coming to the white flag this time by. He is still out lapping cars. White flag is out. Sponsored by Mike Jones YouTube channel. That's what you're watching right now, by the way. So click the like button. And here comes Mike Jones. He's going to win his first ever 2009 Hornets Cup race at 11 years old. Mike Jones is your winner. Second place is all the way back here. Holy cow. Cliff gets second. Third goes to Patty. Fourth goes to Wright. Quinn Half gets fifth. Sixth goes to Richard. Seventh, Beck. Eighth, Hardnet. And I believe that's actually... Ninth for Cookie, right? Yeah, and Cookie was able to pass Rodriguez on the last lap, and Rodriguez gets 10th. Don't go anywhere. We're going to go take a look at the results. All right, guys, here's your official results for the Five Flags 100. One caution today. It was a 50-lap race, five laps under caution. I think that's about perfect. Maybe maybe two cautions would have been a little better, but uh, whatever. Anyway, Clift is second. So Mike Jones started first, finished first cliff second to second he also led 11 laps while mike jones led the most so jones only caught uh, 10 points on cliff holy cow cliff is gonna have a huge lead i think patty fourth to third right third to fourth quinn Howell qualified back in 12th outside the top 10 once again makes his way up to fifth holy cow your biggest mover today richard richard goes from 20th to sixth place and he is driving the 11 car. That is Arthur Richard, to be exact. And Beck goes 9th to 7th. Hardnett, another big mover, 18th to 8th. Crispy Cookie, 10th to 9th. And Rodriguez, 17th to 10th. A lot of people that qualified in the mid uh, part of the top 10 fell back, it looks like. Huica's 11 to 11th. That's pretty consistent. Andreas, 16th to 12th. That's pretty good. Campy moved up to 13th. Sterling started last past half the field to make it up to 14th that's pretty good nascar fan fell back to 15th kirby fell back to 16th coda butcher went up a little bit orth fell back jacko fell back oakley fell way back qualified 5th to 20th i don't know what he got stuck on that outside line at the end i think and that's what hurt him the most and these guys all went a lap down too oliver zabrowski reese's he 22nd place car the whole day. It looks like Durrani went up a little bit. Linkford fell back a little bit. Olaf went up a little bit. <laughs> Onsken made one pass. Carlson made two passes. Fusari fell back a few positions. Leclerc dropped back because he had an issue. He got towed. And last place goes to Austin Higgins today. Everybody finished the race, so that's good. I'm assuming Austin Higgins had an issue. Leclerc had an issue, and he was able to beat Austin Higgins. So I think they both had issues today. Maybe even more people up here. But anyway, that is your results. Now let's take a look at the standings. Clift is still your leader by 54 points now. He just went from a 15-point lead to 54. He's trying to run away with it. Wright is in second. Crispy Cookie third with two top tens now. Mike Jones with his first top 10, which is a win. In fourth, Quinn Half with two top 10s is in fifth. Beck, NASCAR fan, Harnett, Orth, Uika, Richard, Campy, Andreas, Patty, Oakley, LeClaire, Jacko, Butcher, and so on and so forth. Where's the rest of the field here? Sterling and down. Wow, Patty Hat is the only car to have a DNF, and he's all the way up to 14th in points. I, I don't see him winning the championship unless the leaders have issues now because he's already 122 points back. I mean, you still got plenty of time. As long as you're within, shoot, everyone's still mathematically in it right now. But uh, I like to keep the gap uh, above 150. I'd say down here you're kind of losing your chances because that's almost a whole race you got to make up. 
on everybody in the league. So yeah. But anyway, guys, that is your point standings. Cliff is your leader. He is the only card to lead a lap in both races. Holy cow, he has led 61 laps of this season so far. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Subscribe for more. All that good stuff. Turn notifications on. Next race is at Lake Geneva. That doesn't really show you a picture of what it is. It is a one-third of a mile track. Way smaller. I think this one also holds 30 cars, too. So we'll be able to see 63 lap race instead of a 50 lap race. But it is a lot shorter track, so it's going to be even more crazy. Even more lap cars. Probably even more cautions. Who knows? So don't miss that. Comment suggestions for future videos. Let me know 1 to 10. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something, guys. Boom. We got a new car to sign up for. If you made it this far, I guess you can earn it. If you're not signed up already, let me know. Comment, I want the 27 car. And comment your first name and last name, and you'll have it. And, uh, yeah. So uh, this is for you guys that haven't made it yet. I'll probably make another one and do this once for each race. Just to give you guys a chance, so first come, first serve. Whoever comes at 27 car in their first name, last name, they'll get it. But anyway, guys, all right. Like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys next time.